really enjoying Mexico being able to drive around in it. It's good fun. It's really good fun. I'm currently going north of Cancun along the coast. I'm going to go set up somewhere and hopefully I can go for a walk along the beach or something like that. Grab a bite to eat for my breakfast, dinner, lunch. And yeah, speak to you in a bit. One other thing that I'm also really grateful for is I realize why now that Mexico's high season is the Northern Hemisphere's winter. So like this time now, November through to, through to uh, March, because it's really nice. It's nice to be able to walk, just go for a walk in what feels, there's this nice cool breeze. It's about 25 degrees. 26, 27, and uh, compared to the summer months where I was here starting from June, it was just constantly sweating. Whereas here and right now, it's like there's cloud coverage. It's just a really nice day. It's like one of my favorite temperatures, my favorite kind of days in terms of weather. So just really grateful for that. So thank you, all that is, thank you. And thank you to me and thank you to, well, not just to me, but thank you to all that is for creating this. Much love. So I am going past all of these properties and they all say Propriedad Pravida, which means private property. And the beach is on the other side. So I'm gonna go get the car and come back up here again because this road is Close, close to one or two miles long. And... I walked down here actually, Via Genera. Um, but again, it's one of these things of like, yeah, it's got a lovely sign on the front, but it doesn't mean you're allowed to just walk straight through it without having some kind of contest. And, Usually I'm quite bold and brazen when it comes to like walking across private property, but when you're in Cancun, <laughs> when you're in Mexico and there's cartels everywhere, <laughs> yeah, I've got to take some kind of, you know, risk aversion into mind, so. Propiedad Privada. No go. One thing I do want to talk about today is a little bit about my own experience with relationship. It's something that I've noticed that I've repeated in the last two and a half relationships that I've been in since 2018. And that really is just about me I'm gonna say it like this, me giving my power away. So what I mean by that is like, all three of these relationships essentially were long distance. And I would, I noticed this kind of repeating situation where I would give too much of myself like I would give a level of devotion, even though that person hadn't actually earned that with me. Or perhaps that that person wasn't ready for, for a relationship. And yet I kind of was there and showed up in a way and brought myself into this connection, perhaps too much too soon. So there's something I need to look at there for sure. It's like, why am I attracting individuals who are not ready for a relationship? Because that's really what I would like is to be able to kind of just naturally let something unfold with an individual where 
there's no immediate baggage that they're bringing to the table and there's no immediate baggage that I'm certainly not bringing to the table. And what I mean by immediate baggage is like they've and they've come out of a a relationship within you know however long. There's no one size fits all answer. But to me, yeah, six months pops to mind. 12 months is a good amount of time usually. Sometimes it can take people years. It depends on so many different things and logic doesn't really do justice to uh, give an answer, to give such an answer. But yes, this has happened to me twice in a row. Three times in a row, actually. It's almost like I would be there as like a sort of rebound energy, a rebound person. And I would not just put a pin in it, you know? So where, where am I responsible? Where am I responsible in such a situation? Like if I can see that an individual, I need to leave. I am the man, I need to be able to say no or yes to a certain situation. But also in a sense, it's a woman's, it's up to a woman as well. Or, or anyone, man or woman, to to know when they're ready for a new relationship, to not just rebound to someone else as soon as they've come out of a, an existing partnership. So that's what I've learned, essentially. That's the positive here, is that I know now more than ever just, I don't, I shan't, I should not let myself get too close to any individual who's not ready, not give too much of my heart to anyone who's not ready to receive it. And not to stand in that kind of equal give and take that really any relationship needs to have. And a part, a part of that as well, a part of the responsibility I need to be able to take in such a situation when it happens is being aware of my own fears. For example, I know that a big part of me still remaining open and like being so present and picking up the pieces of a person's relationship and being there for them in that way has been because I've been there as a friend but I've also had feelings as well and those feelings have been what's created this kind of like fear of like losing them kind of what if, what if this person goes off with someone else? What if they reunite with their ex, even though myself and this person, we build this connection, and this love and there's feelings. And so really it comes down to my own self empowerment to be able to say, hey, you need some time to heal yourself. And hey, me, I feel like I'm developing feelings for you. I need to kind of take a step back because I can see that you're not ready for a relationship. You're not ready to receive what I have to offer. And you don't have a 
anything to give to a relationship yet because you need to focus on yourself. And I have noticed that in myself as well, especially in the past year where I've been, I've been single for like what, 14 months now. It's been, it's been really great. <laughs> it's been great. It's been a lot of healing. It's just, you know, autonomy, being able to focus and do what I need to do, which all of those things that come with being single, which is awesome. But that self-empowerment I spoke of, that kind of need to like not be afraid of the person moving on or for whatever reason, it's just that self-empowerment for me that's come in this, in this past year that I've been cultivating because I knew about this whole... I knew, I knew about this whole giving my power away too quickly business. I've known about it for a while now. I forgot what I was going to say now. And I have realized that self-empowerment within myself, and that usually comes, and what's worked well for me in that sense has been just being able to take a step back and realize what is meant for me is meant for me. And I cannot really mess up what is meant for me. And it's been that surrender, that letting go that's really helped. Huge, massive, massively. And the best part is I know that through that surrender, the more I let go of outcome, the less I attach myself to an outcome, to circumstance. The more in alignment I am going to be to manifesting the relationship that I'm looking for. And really, I think a big part of these past three years and this kind of fear that's been generated in me when I've been entering into these relationships and establishing these connections has been because of the long distance. <clears throat> it's been it's very difficult, I found, to to build when, you, when you're actually growing feelings. And of course the man tends to grow feelings for the woman faster than the woman tends to grow feelings for the man. Naturally, that is what I've learned and even observed. And so in my experience, when that has happened, it's been challenging because you can't be there in person to like, to date them in a quote unquote normal way. You're on the other end of a video call or a, f or a phone call or a text message. And it doesn't do it justice. The energy is completely different. You're not with them in person. It, it is truly so different. And so I know that I'm really wanting to kind of really just long distance is not I'm good at it in general I'm good at long distance but I just don't prefer it and I just realize now from what I've been through this year as well in the past six months even has has shown me I'd much rather just get to know someone in person and like 
date them in person and see them and not just be on the other end of a phone all of the time without actually even having met the person in person, really. So that's my positive, that's, that's my, ch my challenges and my triumphs that I've been going through as of late. It's probably been my biggest challenge of the past few months, actually. It's this idea of long distance relationship and working with the emotions that have come up for me. Now, I've got to say, this is not an invitation to come and give me life advice, because please don't do that. <laughs> what would be nice is to see more people. No. I'm really grateful to have been able to have shared this now, in this way. I attempted to do it yesterday on my day four of 30 day video challenge, but it just didn't come out right. As for my, my top lines, bottom lines and middle lines, for today it's been really good i <laughs> i woke up really early because i had to sort out some technical issues um and so i did and then i went back to sleep again and woke up at like 11 <laughs> which was cool it was a needed sleep it, i realized and then i went straight into my yoga which was, which was really nice today. It was a lot of hip, hip flexibility. I was doing certain, certain hip movements, which was, which was good. And yeah, the appreciate, appreciation practice, as you can see from this video, I've had a nice amount of time to do that, which has been great. Meditation, I haven't actually meditated yet. So I'm going to go do that in a bit. And yeah, I've got to do some work towards the foundation for personal growth, which is like a personal development meetup group that me and my best friend have established. So I'll do a little bit on that today. And yeah, I hope everybody watching has had a great start to the week. And so this is gonna be my vlog entry, the fifth day of 30 days. Thank you for watching, sending so much love to you all and Lots and lots of blessings. Take care now. Bye-bye.